Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Anik. Now, if, with everything that's going on right now with Secure Team 10, everybody using his thumbnail, everybody using his title, his logo, you name it, people are using his shit. Um, I don't know why you'd do that. I think it's disgusting. I would never, ever use Secure Team 10's name or his logo for anything on my channel because I think that's just trying to get views for the sake of getting views so that it's just, just put that one out there it's disgusting okay now a few years ago I was debunking secure team 10 I was like I must have done nine debunks or something like that on Tyler and somebody approached me and said that, that I looked like a genuine channel and they wanted me to um, put this image out. So I waited and I thought, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not falling for that one. I'm not falling for this. This guy's trying to trick me. It's probably Tyler himself trying to trick me into putting a fake um, alien out there. So... I went back over my old email, old emails like you do the other day, having a clear out, and I come across this email, and I'm, and then I'm looking at the responses that me and this person have had, and they're very genuine. So I'm going to show you the picture now, so you don't get bored of this video. So here's what this person sent me, and hopefully we'll get this young man on for an interview about this image now I've, I've i've put it into photoshop i've learned some photoshop skills over my time i cannot see any manipulation with photoshop with this image however that doesn't mean to say it's not fake i'm not stupid but the conversation that we've had recently we've had emails back and forth he seems like a genuine kid, you know, he's not even asked me to put this back out. He's not pressurising me into putting this image out. He sent it to me like it's just something he's asking, what is this that I managed to take a photograph of? So I'm probably going to butcher this right now because I am dyslexic as they come. But I'm going to read the original email he sent me. Um, and hopefully, you'll understand what I'm saying. Because I tend to mix words around a little bit. It might take a few takes this. Bear with me, people. Obviously, I'm going to idea though, so we'll get in one. So I started to read the email, guys, and it sounded a little bit shit. So I got in touch with Rich Giordano from Goof on Radio and just said, do your mind you know, reading this email out for me. Um, if you don't know who Rich Giordano is, he is a is a guy who's been in the field for quite a long time, about 15, 16 years. He's a UFO channel. Check him out. He will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, here's Rich. Below is the email I sent to security multiple times with no responses along with the image. I only have the one saved on this computer the other two were lost when my old computer died. Hello, I want to share this with you. I don't show this to many people, but you seem like a genuine believer. When I was young, around seven or eight, I became deathly afraid of the dark. If I was in a room and the light was shut off, I would either assume the fetal position or run at the light switch while screaming. I was told that the shadow figures that I'd seen around my bed were nothing but hallucinations um, brought on by imagination turning shadows into things they're not. I never believed that. I got a nightlight and the first night I had it I heard something walking in my room. At this point I only slept with my entire head under the covers. I lifted the edge of my blanket and saw a gray humanoid being, not a shadow reaching towards my nightlight as if to shut it off. It stopped and I noticed its head turn sharply and its large black eyes locked with mine. To this day I get chills thinking about it. 
Nine years later, I was letting my dog out at night and heard what at first seemed like a normal animal noise is coming from the ditch behind my house, but they were too perfect and they sounded like they were somehow not real. I then grew uneasy like I was being watched, so I brought my dog back inside and grabbed my camera, switching it to night vision. The following image is one of a few still images I captured while taking multiple night vision pictures of the ditch. I didn't stay outside long enough to look at them at the time, I just snapped and went quickly back inside. But what I saw chilled me to the bone. I hope you get a chance to see this and can get back to me as soon as possible with your thoughts. Thank you. So before we go any further with this image, I would just like to say a massive thank you to my three new Patreons, Gordon Hamilton, Steve Carpenter and radiant light radiant light's brand new to the channel as well literally saw a video the other day came straight on the patreon it means the world to me at some point i will be able to leave the day job and do this full time so thank you very much guys you are absolute diamonds gordon steve you've been a long time with the channel steve we know each other personally so that respect to that as well so you know awesome guys Anyway, back to the video in question. The image in question, should I say. Is it fake? Has this young man tried to pull the wool over my eyes a few years ago? And I've happened to stumble back on this. You decide in the comment section below. Let me know. I've, um, I've, I've learned Photoshop a little. I know that basics, I can make thumbnails, uh, misleading thumbnails. And I can't see any, any like tomfoolery. If this is fake, then this little creature, it's not pareidolia, by the way. Guys, it's not pareidolia. It's not. That's a massive word for me, but it's not pareidolia. Pareidolio. I had pareidolia back in the day. When my channel... I've got hip cups. When my channel first... Get, let me... I'm just going to cut this so I can burp. <coughs> oh, I feel better now. I feel a lot better. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this young man that has sent me this image is trying to pull the wool over... I'm going to say mine or our eyes because it would gone. It would have gone on the channel a couple of years ago, but I just kind of thought, no, this is not real. Um, but looking at it re recently and putting it through Photoshop, putting it through, through a few filters, I cannot see any tomfoolery there. Um, the image I will. The, the image is already on my Patreon. Become a Patreon. Become a Patreon. Um, the image is going to go on my Twitter page. It'll go on my Instagram page. I'll put it even put it on my Facebook page. I don't do much on Facebook, but I can't. I can't see anything Photoshop wise, which means it's practical. Either a practical effect. Or there is some really weird little man in the grass looking at him. There's somebody looking at you, mate. Uh, so you need to come on for an interview. I want to know if you've seen anything else. If you do comment in the comment section, I know who you are. I will pin your comment so other people know who you are. But I'm not going to mention your name. I could just make up a name. So if people think I'm lying or I've made this this image myself. Um, I, I've got better things to do. I, I'm just... With the whole Secure Team 10 thing, I just saw this and thought, actually, I'm going to put this out because this was meant to... Tyler was meant to put this image out. This guy has sent this image, and it is a guy, to Tyler. Uh, a few times but he probably gets a lot of emails but if I was Tyler and I was getting this image I would think wow that's actually quite interesting so that's why I've put it out um, if you are a debunking channel then by all, mean, by all means then you can try 
and debunk this because I've tried and I can't. I don't know what it is. If you if you're gonna say it's pareidolia, though, you know you have to just look at the image, look at the whole thing, look at the 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 face. You've even got the hands with the fingers coming round. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot in that image for it to be pareidolia, which is why I don't think it is pareidolia. But yeah, let's 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 spread this image round because not because it'll grow my channel and, and you know it, you know it's just not not to sh share the video because I want to grow the channel. No, because I want if it's a real alien, I want people to see it. There's no selfishness in this. There's no me trying to grow this channel and become a multi-millionaire and buy some sort of giant car and get myself a new house that has its own YouTube room. There's no agenda there for that. I just want this alien image just to go out there and for people to decide for themselves whether it's real or not. So share the image and, you know, become a Patreon because if you become a Patreon, it will make you feel better as a person. Not because it will, it will line my pockets with gold. Just because I want you to... I, I, you deserve it you know I just wish people would be more honest in this world because let's face it that's what we need we need a little bit of more honesty anyway guys it is very 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 nice to have you on the channel and I appreciate the love that I've had the mounds of subscribers recently Probably down to me putting some uh, somebody's logo in the um, um, the thumbnail that 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 may have had something to do with it. I don't know that and my charisma. Um, you know this wonderful T-shirt that is not for sale actually. It should be. Maybe it will be. Yes, it probably will be. Um, only because I I, I need to buy um, a new kettle. You know, that's the only reason why I'm going to start selling t-shirts on the channel. And I need a new kettle. I need some some more shampoo, some, some more toothpaste. Um, and I, I've got to feed five kids. So it's important that you share my channel. It really is. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me and Stephen Greer. Okay. Let me know in the comments section below whether you think this is a real alien or not. Let's cut to the bullshit. Is this a real alien? Have I had the wool pull, pulled over my eyes? I probably have. But God loves a trier. Good night, God bless. I'm Alien Addict. Mind the bugs don't bite.